we're back to with Skyrim today, and we're doing the uh, location walkthrough for the Guardian Stones. And um, before we talk to this guy, you'll see this is where or the Ritual Stone. Sorry, confused the name from the previous one. Um, this is a Battleborn Farm, Chill Four Farm, and White River Watch is probably the closest to where we're starting from here. You can even see the Haunting Brew Meadery. Um, from where we're currently standing, and on our path we'll see this guy Balbus. I'm collecting ingredients to bring to the gourmet. He'll think my taste so refined when I offer them to him. You have heard of the gourmet? Nope. You've not heard of the gourmet? Author of Uncommon Taste? He is a wizard with a spatula. All right. Not an actual wizard, but his recipes are legendary. You know, I've heard the gourmet is in Skyrim right now. Okay. Let's see what he's got on him. Balvis's fork, Deidre heart, spider egg, troll fat, and uncommon taste. Nothing worth bothering pickpocketing him for. But, uh. Butterfly! Um. Head up this path, and. You'll head towards the right there, and that's the way you want to go. Let's see, we got a wolf. Bring it down pretty quick. So I got this really bitchin' sword got from the Golden Claw quest. And uh You don't wanna you'll see these um little stone pillar things. You wanna head up this hill. And once we get up here Actually, geez, flames. Never I'll find this necromancer. And, uh. Oh, not enough. Once you drop her, her skeletons drop too. And you'll find on her, she has necromancer robes. Which increases your magic regeneration by 75%, which is no laughing matter. Um, trying to take it. There we go. And on the skeletons, there's some decent stuff just iron shield and Nordic uh, war axe thing. There's a second skeleton. Yeah, turn to ash. There, an ancient Nord bow and ancient Nord arrows, but most importantly, we'll see the activate uh, the ritual stone, which allows us to raise dead to fight for us once a day. And as a matter of fact, we can now use it. Let's favorite that. As you can see, it has that pretty uh, effect that the ritual stones create once you activate them. Let's uh, activate our ritual stone thing here. Then you hold down your shout key and release it. Haha, <laughs> nice. So you got to raise two of them. You got the necromancer now following us and the skeleton. I wonder if she'll be able to raise more dead. That'll be interesting to check out. <laughs> That's really funny though. I was expecting her to do that. <laughs> Anyways, so a pretty nifty thing and a very nifty ability. And you can use it once per day. Come on, guys. And that ends this walkthrough. I um, just want to check one thing real quick. Uh. Alright. So, um, I had to pause the game there real quick. But, um, just wanted to follow up. That's pretty much it for this location. If you want to see me utilizing my two minions, um, check the next video because we're about to do Grey Winter Watch, which will be the next uh, primary location. <laughs> this just kills me. All right.